it's Saturday, November 23rd, and Jake and I are set up in the urban zone. It's a nice, brisk morning, about 25 degrees, clear skies, heavy frost. We have a really light west-southwest wind. Most of my vacation days are done now, so I'm reduced to primarily hunting the weekends and occasional afternoons I can slip out after work. But we've got a big thicket right here and a draw that goes up between these two bean fields and we're blowing our wind back over this bluff over the creek here. We might see a little bit of cruising, so that's what I'm hoping for this morning. We haven't seen any deer yet, but hopefully the activity will pick up soon. A little buck. It's like five different bucks. I can see the one's tail. Yeah, they're both right there. Well, it's about ten o'clock. And uh, we had a little flurry of action between 8.30 and 9.15 or so. A lot of deer were going out into the cut beans there and just sitting there and eating. There were four or five bucks, three little one and a halfs, uh, two and a half, and then there was a short tine 10 that had a broken G2 and pretty good mass. He looked like he was at least four and a half years old, maybe older, he had a pretty good belly on him. Um, Jake got a little wet crossing the creek this morning, so his feet are about frozen, so we're gonna get packed up and get out of here and uh, make a switch for the afternoon, probably head back to that other spot with the cut corn for the afternoon hunt. But it's nice to see some deer and hopefully this afternoon it continues. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback. Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. It's about 3.45 on the afternoon of November 23rd and Jake and I are set up in the urban zone and we're actually in the same tree this is now the second time I hunt this tree but it's the same tree that Jared and I uh, killed out of December 6th of 2015 we killed that nice 10 during Iowa shotgun season and that uh, was the only day I've ever hunted that tree and the area has a lot of mature bucks normally there's a lot of cover here about probably a hundred acres of thick gnarly timber and I have two cameras that I've put on the field edge and gotten a few nice deer one I actually saw he's a just a nice heavy eight with kickers off the G2s I got some pictures of him and there's an, another 10 point that may not be fully mature but there's at least some targets in this area so with any luck uh, as the as the night winds down here, they'll start moving. The uh, there is a landowner right here next to the city ground that's been riding around on his four wheeler. So I'm not sure how much that will affect the hunt. But we ended up having three does right in this corner of the field when we walked in, and we waited till they worked off the field before we came in. So hopefully they're not too far away, and maybe they'll feed back out and bring a buck with them. But...
we're down to our last few minutes. And uh, overall, it was a good sit. Movement was about like expected. The last hour, deer started pouring out of the timber. I think we saw four young bucks and six or seven does. We just had a young buck come out behind us here. He's a little bit spooky, but everything else has been out on this side of the field. I'm not gonna be out in the morning, but I think we're gonna come back to this tree tomorrow night. So there's enough mature bucks in this timber and as the rut dies down, they're all gonna be switching back to food and this cut cornfield is the primary food source in this area. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on this field the next few weeks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.